everyone. Welcome to Max Art Place. My name's Marlene Ashworth Cosand, and that's how I get the name of Mac. First thing I wanted to do today, can't even speak, it's raining and chilly. Uh, I wanted to thank my new subscribers. Uh, really appreciate it, and I really want to thank um, Mixed Media Girl also. Um, I wanted to offer a little help to those who have some special emergency needs. I have a very small nonprofit. Um, it's a 501c3. If anybody wants to contribute to it, I can give you uh, papers for your taxes. Uh, there isn't a whole lot of money in it because I'm the only one that seems to put money in it. But if anyone out there has an emergency and needs like a prescription, which they don't have money for, or something that, uh, you know, is small, like $50 or less, because I don't, like I said, I don't have much in there, you can contact me through my email and I'll try to give you some assistance. And I know we all have to stick together and help one another at this time in our existence. Today's uh, experiment for me has to do with the varnish. I've had problems doing varnish uh, showing the brush strokes. I've tried different brushes. I've tried different size of brushes. They recommend the foam brushes. I've tried all them and I still get the brush marks. So I had an idea of doing something a little bit different if I put the varnish on with my uh, hand and smear it around and see what happens and then wait the three hours it normally suggests and put another coat on and I could avoid the brush strokes. So I'm hoping that helps and we're going to find out. See you in a bit. Here I am again. So here is that quintic that I did a couple days ago and it is dry and I have some Liquid Tex uh, high gloss varnish. And they even say there to use one of those foam brushes, which I have tried. But no matter what I do, I get these brush strokes on it. So I had an idea that I was just going to try to use my fingers to spread the varnish. And I know this will take two coats, but we can start out like this, see how this dries. Well, uh, Liquitex says to wait three hours. And then you can put on another coat. Um, I hope this works, because I've been frustrated with the brush strokes. Um, I've tried different size brushes. Um, and today I thought, well, other than a brush, I could try this, um, silicone thing that I acquired through an order. Maybe that wouldn't leave brushed strokes. But we're going to see how just using my fingers does. I see I need a little more here. And you can tell by the reflection of the light how it is. And I think already it looks better. I mean, I don't see any brush strokes. I don't see any finger uh, things. So we'll see how that goes. And I'll, uh, this is the other one I was talking about. I think I'll try that just on this one here uh, to see if that leaves like marks of, of where you're putting your varnish. The only other thing I've never had trouble with would be the the uh, spray, but the spray doesn't seem to put enough on it. 
So we'll see how this goes. Thanks for watching. In three hours, I'll take a look at it again and we'll put on another coat and see what's happening. Well, it's been three hours and it's ready for my second coat. And as you can see, there are no brush marks. I'm letting the light shine on the panel there. So I'm very happy that I found a different way of applying the varnish. Uh, there is one spark spot over here that's a little thicker. Um, it ran there and didn't run off. So I think my cup here missed or something like that. And I did, after I shut the camera off, I had some down here and I picked it up and let it drip on here. And right here, there's two spots where the drip did not spread. So that has taught me a lesson. And, but it has also showed me that the best way for me, anyway, to apply varnish would be this method of using my hands. I don't get brush marks this way. Um, so I'm happy with that. I, I've, this is what my 45th video, something like that, 45th one. And, uh, I have tried epoxy and I've had a problem with that. And most of it has to be because it's cold here. And I, I have now fixed up a spot on my back porch that I can work when it warms up a little and I'll be able to use the epoxy again to try it but uh, the ones that I've tried varnish on I've had the problem of the brush strokes so I see now that I can do this with my hands and not have brush strokes and I'm going to let this one lean down so maybe it'll fall off of there um looks nice when this dries i'll let you see the final outcome with my second coat that probably won't be till tomorrow so i want to thank everybody for watching again thank you to my new subscribers uh, if you have any suggestions for me i greatly appreciate them and i appreciate your thumbs up and as i've said if you need some emergency help, please contact me. Thanks again. Stay well.